Hey guys, I am back with a potting video. I'm gonna finish potting up those um, cactuses that I couldn't pot before because they were full of ants. And a few, two more that I purchased um, recently. So let's do that. So I've been inspecting this one and I think I was able to get rid of all the ants. I haven't seen any more ants. So yeah, I feel bad because I've been laying it a lot on its side and it has um, broken many of its spines. So yeah, but it's not a big deal. But you know, I'd rather not. I'd rather not um, break the spines. You know, and I'm unprepared because um, I left everything over there on the other side. <laughs> Let me see. Let me push the roots down. I would like to hold this up. Let's see if I can do that. I'm just going to go ahead and put some soil like that and then I'm going to pick it up gently and shift it to the side so you can tell that many of the spines are messed up because I wouldn't be able to touch it so much like this I would be getting stuck and hooked so yeah at least the top looks good made a mess today's Tuesday I want all the offsets to be above, not to be in there. So yeah. kind of pushing the soil where I want it to go so I can stay in place because I don't want the offsets sunken in So um, some of these, maybe the other two little ones that I'm going to pop, I might use um, down the line in a fall video for a big, I want to make a big um, cactus arrangement. Um, I mean, bigger than what I have. Not big as in size, but like lots of cactuses. We'll see. Um, I had, I purchased this a while back ago. It's a big... Um, like one of those big Volkswagen RVs. It's a big one. It's made out of metal. And I've been waiting for fall to, you know, put it together. But I mean, I'm still wondering if I'm gonna have, you know, like enough cactuses. Cause I don't know if I wanna take some of the ones that I've already, you know, had established. So yeah, for like arrangements like that, I 
I guess you would call those experimental ones. I try to use probably, you know, multiples that I already have so that I can keep my other ones in case something happens, you know, in case it doesn't work out and it just, the whole thing rots or a few of them start to rot. I have still like my, you know, my collection. So that's what I want to do with that. Bunch of little ones. These are so good. <laughs> Those are hooks, so they can still hook you. I was watching a video and there are many cactuses that are edible that I didn't know. And people compare it to like tasting like a certain fruit. The cactus itself, you know? That's pretty cool. I'm just pushing this down. I think that's good. That was good. Here comes my husband. He doesn't know I'm making a video. I'm making a video. Good morning. Good morning. Are you saying good morning to me or to them? Yes. No, I'm saying it to you. Oh. Honey, you can say good morning to them. They heard you. Hi, you too. Man, it's messy. I know. I cleaned all those pine needles and leaves, and now one day later, they're all back on the ground. It's like, thank you. These poor roots. They've been squished. Not a lot of root though, right? For such a big um such a big looking cluster. Still needs lots of soil. This one is difficult. I didn't want to put her in a bigger pot just because the root system is not really big, you know? So, I need to be able to shift that soil onto the roots. So what I'm doing is with the chopstick, I'm pushing all the soil to the middle and then it'll be interesting how I'm going to fill in 
can go home. I'm just pushing it in. Let's see if I want to do this. I'm pushing it that way. I made a hole, put the root in the middle, and now I'm pushing the walls in and then filling those, filling the walls back up and continue to push in to make sure that the root is completely covered. It's like never ending soil going in there. feel a little bit like resistant and I think it's because the roots are in there. Trying to put a little bit of surface in there. Just make sure that the cactus is not laying on top of the soil. So, um, where is it? Here's one of the new ones that I got. Um, I'm saying she looks a little dehydrated. I mean, but it is meant to be like on the thin side. But yeah, there's a little wrinkles here. So I would say it's dehydrated. You know, this whole time, I just noticed I might have been out of frame. Sorry, I hope I'm not. There's a nice breeze right now. Still hot though, but there is nice breeze. Root looks good. This is one of them that I might split later on and use for that project.
Isn't it crazy how many different Apuntias, Euphorbias, Namalarias, Echinopsis? There's just Echeveria, so many different kinds. <laughs> it's so crazy. I know, have you guys seen Maria's um, channel from Succulent Living? Um, I like her videos. I like when she does her whole collection. Um, it just reminds me of how many plants are still out there, still to be, you know, found and added to the collection. It's pretty cool. And it's exciting when you go to a nursery and find something, you know, that you just didn't expect or didn't even know that existed. So, yeah. Okay, I think that one is done. It's good to go. I'm gonna definitely give this one a drink of water. The other ones that I rinsed out, I'm not. I'm just gonna leave those alone. They're nice fat cactuses. Here's uh, the other one. I need to go grab the pot because um, I sprayed it with some clear gloss um, to kind of cover some of the glue. Th th this pot is one of the ones that my daughters put like glass on it. And um, there's a lot of glue, so I try to see if the glossiness would kind of um, make the glue blend in, but I don't think so. But let me go grab it. So let's see. My name's here. This is it right here. I kind of sprayed it. It does. It did help with the glue. It's kind of li a little bit less noticeable. The glue was sanding out a lot, but now I feel like it kind of blends in a little bit more now that I sprayed it. So, yeah. Looks better. I don't know which one, who made that. Which one of them made it. This cactus does feel pretty wet. I hope not to find any surprises. Many times when I've purchased cactuses like this, especially like trails, like at a Home Depot or Lowe's, there's always one that's dying. roots look pretty good but yeah this is very moist I won't be watering this one uh yeah I can't find it so I thought maybe you knew was it listed a while ago huh I, so I never put it away okay let's look at them like, you know, because sometimes when they're nice tucked in together, you can't tell if there's any rot in between them. I, I'm not seeing any rot. I want to keep them together, but I just want to see here. Make sure everything feels firm. Take some of this debris off. I do see... Um, where is it? Can you guys see that? I don't know if that's just, like, damaged that happen naturally or if it's um scales it doesn't look like scales because it doesn't have like the pattern of scale but who knows scales i hate scales i think i dislike scales more than what i dislike mealybugs i promise you mealybugs i can see i can try to tackle and get rid of and your plant you know can look good scales um, especially on a cactus, what can you do? You're not going to chop the cactus off. I mean, what can you do? So that one is pretty hard to, to deal with. So, I don't know. They really frustrate me. It's 
kind of falling on the sides there. What? You always have to look at the name, though. That one came off. We're shoving the soil down the sides. Did this one have a name? This is what that one is called. And then the other one is Argentina Puntia. Those had names, but the ones that I purchased from that nursery did not have any names. Kind of hard to hold it there. Keeps coming back this way. Stay. Oh gosh! Ow! I pricked myself. I think mean, this one lost its little needles. Hmm. So when that happens like that, see, I lost the little needles up there. There's little holes right there. So don't let water get into that. If you water, you don't want that. soil that I'm getting on the plant itself. Okay, I think that's fine. Yep. That's good right there. Um so yeah. Let me I don't normally use pus for a plant that I'm trying to like rehab or whatever like a pot like this i'll probably use a plastic pot but hmm 
You know what? Never mind, I take that back. Um, well, gosh, um, I don't know what to do. I'll use the terracotta pot, it's fine. I am rehabbing this trailing jade because she was doing very well and then really good. All of a sudden, she's not doing well. A bunch of leaves are falling. It's just not looking pretty. Um, you guys have seen this one before. Well, I actually went around and pulled them out from everywhere that were not doing well, which was everywhere. And um, see, I'm getting a lot of this. Dry leaves. Or, so some of them look burnt and then some of them just look like they got too much water, but I don't think that's the case. I just don't know why they're unhappy, so. I just decided to pull it out and restart them over and just see what happens. And that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, this one doesn't look too bad long, but I think I might, I think I might cut it. So. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. These trailing jades um, propagate very easily as well. So if they look kind of naked, they might lose some leaves on, during the process. And that's normal, but we'll see. It's a good piece as well. I'm just going to take these and put them in a shady spot and see if, um, in a, like a very bright area, see if that makes them happy. I don't know what's wrong with them. I did take some cuttings, but I don't think that that's what it is. See, look at that. It's naked. Eventually, they'll just trail down. I'll see if this little thing gives anything. Just hide it in there. See if it puts out anything. There's a lot of them. Some of them I was able to um, get the root. Look at that. See that? I think many people on Facebook have, have been talking about that. And I don't know what that is. So yeah, I might just go ahead and restart the whole thing. I don't want that. It's sick. It looks sick. The roots are sick. So I think that's what happened. Hey guys, so I found some information on what was on the root so those are called root knots and what happens with that um it is a disease and it affects the plant um it can prevent the plant from growing it does not let it it does not allow it to take in water um it says that they are irregular in shape plants the affected plant will wilt rapidly during um, dry weather and may even wilt in the presence of adequate soil or moisture. Plants infected with root knot often exhibit symptoms of drought or nutritional stress. Severely affected plants may die. I will link what I found down below so you guys can read more about it, but that is what is wrong with that plant. So it needed to be, um, the roots needed to be removed. Okay, back to this. I just got sick. have to look into that and google it because see like a, a rock looking fat root so
I needed a bigger pot. Yeah, I need a bigger pot. Maybe I'll use this one since I don't have like a lot of cactuses. I mean, not cactuses. I don't use. I don't have a lot of big plants. Yeah, we're we'll, gonna use that. It's perfect amount of soil. I'm gonna shove them all in here until they start to look good. Then maybe I'll use them in something else. These have a bunch of nodules, and those little nodules are roots. They're just, they remind me a lot of um, the banana plant. It's not gonna look pretty right now, but eventually it will. I'm just trying to get as much as I can out of it. So we'll see. Hmm. It's funny that many people have been having those weird looking roots. I wonder what it is. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and restart. I'm not going to use the roots at all. a piece of styrofoam yeah that's a piece of styrofoam this one wasn't um where did i get this one from it's not too bad but yeah i don't know i don't know if this one was heading in the same direction hmm. maybe we'll leave this one alone See what happens with this one. Well, I don't like that, so never mind. Looks pretty naked there, so. It's better. Okay, see? Here it is. These have it too. These have that weird looking fruit. So, yeah, I don't know what was happening. This one is variegated. I'll be keeping a close eye on this.
this pot is just temporary this is just while it recovers and to see how it does if it gets better Maybe these little ones I'll put. No, I don't have any soil right here. I just don't want to leave anything because I don't want to say I'm going to do it later and then forget. So I'll just shove it all in here. So now I know definitely it wasn't water, definitely it wasn't sun. It was whatever is attacking the roots. I'm gonna see if you guys don't know. I'm pretty sure one of you guys know. But if you guys don't know, I'm gonna Google it and see if I find out what it is that is hurting my plant. I don't know if this piece will grow, but we'll just shove it in there. the direction to some of them I'm unsure which direction we'll find out okay so sad this is a really nice looking plant Okay, only one long one. <laughs> the rest is going to go in the trash. So, yep. So one more thing I want to show you guys and then I'll be done. that I bought I can't remember the exact name but I looked at it yesterday and I noticed that I had some rot happening so I quickly took it and I cut the pieces that was rotting right here it's nothing that I did to it it looked like it was already gonna happen I sprayed it with alcohol and now I am leaving it like this um, I took it out the greenhouse when I know that it's not raining and let the morning sun hit that area it's kind of like to heal the wound you know and just airflow so I'm hoping that that's what's gonna happen and it won't continue to to rot so that's what I'm hoping it's gonna happen I'm going to spray it one more time with alcohol and I'll place it you know in my where it's getting morning sun and just let that air dry and hopefully that works out with that and it doesn't die on me but anyway let me put some turfus on this and i'll show you guys what it looks like they are all done they look super cute in their pots and to my greenhouse they will go the only one i'm watering is this one the rest i'm leaving alone so whenever cactuses are very 
like that so they can go they could even possibly go a month without water i wouldn't do that on purpose i'll probably do like three weeks without water but yeah anyways so that's it um thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to comment like and have a blessed day guys bye